Oh, the Iowa COVID-19 helpline for immigrants and refugees is now available. Local 5's Lake and McGee got a first-hand look at the people answering the phones and helping those who speak little to no English sign up for a vaccine. There are thousands of immigrants and refugees in the metro, and the number one issue they're running into right now is getting the right information about the COVID-19 vaccine, and it's all because there's a language barrier. Lutheran Services in Iowa, how may I help you? Ida Bune came to America in 2011. I came from Kenya. She knows how hard it can be with getting the right information with a language barrier in the way. Can you stay on the line as I find a Swahili interpreter for you? The reason why I will say I'm suggesting we have a call line is that we are having people who are coming in here. They have limited English. Scheduling those appointments is written in English. Technology is another issue. We would like to make everything easy for our community. They're doing that by interpreting not one, not two, but over 15 different languages. With a staff of four people, here's how the hotline works. You call the number you see right there on your screen and wait for the language you need. So for example, if you need Spanish, it will say press one. If you need a Swahili, press two. Unatakiwa chanjo ya COVID-19 vaccine. Staff have been hard at work interpreting English to different languages to show how to cover a cough and providing the information they need. So if someone calls, can you help schedule them a vaccine or? Yes, we have been able to do that. And as of now, they only have this service for those that live in Polk County. You can call that hotline number from 830 to 5 Monday through Friday. But if you try calling on the weekends, just leave them a voicemail. They say they will return your call. I'm Lakin McGee for Local 5 News. We are Iowa. And just in case you missed that hotline number, it's right there at the bottom of your screen. The Polk County Health Department tells us they secured a grant tailored to the specific needs of ethnic communities. So far, they've trained 20 interpreters to help in their communities.